Hello everybody! In this video, we will be learning how to make a ghost shader. So, there's barely any shader tutorials out there for Unity Shader Graph. So I'm going to make a simple one on how to make a ghost shader. So let's begin. First, let's open up Unity. Mine is waiting to load. Create new project and click the Universal Runner Pipeline template. Let's call this one a Ghoul Shader and create. Let's wait for Unity to load. Alright, so it's finished loading. If you get this error here, just drag the window and close this. Let's clear and begin. We don't need the example assets or the material, I mean print sets. Let's go into our scenes and let's create a new scene. I'll call this mm, ghost. You can call this whatever you want. And let's go here and add a spear. And here it is. We have a lovely spear. Now this is optional, but we can go into our settings menu and change it to 8 on anti-aliasing to make it look smoother. Then we can go here and let's create a folder called shaders. Shaders. Here we can go here and let's go on to right click create and then go into the shader and let's choose a unlit graph because we don't want light to reflect on it because remember it's a ghost so let's go ahead here and click I haven't named mine but let's go ahead here and click all right so here we are we have an unlit master and an alpha what we want to do is first we want the transparency to increase I mean decrease or increase I mean the alpha to decrease so first let's go here and change our surface from opaque to transparent and make sure to click the settings the gear thing whatever then let's go ahead and get our position so let's press space and search for the position node let's change the space to object so we get the object space and not the world space then we want to get its y position not just its x and z and w and etc etc so let's put the output into a split node so what a split node does is split the position so r is x g is y b is z and a is w you don't have to understand all that just follow me put this in the g which is the i meant the in and then put this in but then um, drag the g and then search for an add node and as we can see the more we add the more transparent it is so we can go here to our plus and control it let's go ahead and put in a vector one we can go ahead and scale it and now we can go here and drag our vector one by default, let's change it to 0.5 and of course put it in our B. Now we can go ahead and put this in our alpha and by doing this we get this lovely effect. So we get a lovely effect. We can even change this so 1 and if it's 1 it will just be flat or whatever. So if we go to 1 then it's of course white. If we change it to 0.1, however, then we see we're getting the top half. 
let's change it to 0 0.5 so it gives it a ghost feel. All right. Now, what if we want to control the gradient? For example, some parts could be different. In order to do this, let's first go into a power node, drag this in a power node. Now we only get this pink because the power node needs an absolute value. So let's go and search for an absolute node. So all this does is change a negative into its positive version, i.e. negative one to positive one, and positive one will be, well, of course, positive. Now we can put this in the A, and as you can see here, we get no issues. Then we can change the X, and then we can get a nice gradient. Let's also see if we can control this. Let's choose Oh, and I completely forgot to rename this. So for this, let's name it um, Power Node. Power Gradient. And of course, let's go here and rename this node. Let's call this um, Add Gradient. I know they aren't good names, but they'll have to do. Now, we can go here into our power ingredient and put this here. And right now we're at a to the power, anything to the power of zero is of course zero. So it's not gonna work. However, we can change this to one and we get this. So what we can do is change the way it works. So I'm two, three, etc. Oh, oh, I completely forgot that we have to go ahead here and actually put this in our alpha. And we get this effect here. The black is the transparent part. So the more black, the more transparent. And we get this lovely ghost effect. Now, with an unlit chitter, it kind of weird. I'm sorry, this is my first time doing a tutorial. I'll get better and better for the coming tutorials. So let's go ahead here and create a color node and let's call this ghost color. Let's go ahead and change the mode to HDR so we can change the light intensity. For right now, let's get a nice color. Let's just take the intensity here to one. Then let's put the ghost color into our albedo and we get this lovely ghost color Woo! and with these simple steps we have this lovely ghost effect you can change the texture you can do whatever you want so let's go into our game view go into our materials and create a material and let's call this a ghoul material then Let's go here and let's change this into the shaders and new shader graph because I forgot to name it the ghost shader. So we can change the add gradient, the power gradient, the ghost color. And now let's put the ghoul material here. And as you can see, we get this lovely effect. And based on the lighting, we get a nice ghost effect. So if you're making a horror game or some kind of ghost game, I highly recommend you mess around with the shader. It's just pretty fun and neat. And as with position nodes and other shaders, it's just very cool. Now, if you understand this, I have links in the description below to make different shaders, including a water shader, a snow shader, and of course, a glowing shader. They're not made by me, they're made by Brackies, so, the links for these shader videos are in the description below. And no disclaimer, I am not supported by Brackies or sponsored. And even if there was a possibility he quit YouTube or whatever, I don't know. So the links are there for you to learn more tutorials as mine not, might be that helpful and I can't even get my words straight sometimes. So hopefully this helps. If it does, subscribe, leave a like and a comment. If it doesn't, make sure to dislike and tell me why so I can be better next time. So, thanks for watching.
Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.